the director of Arnold Knows Me, the Tommy Kono story. Thank you so much. You're joined by Ryan Yamamoto, who you may remember from ABC 10. Now you're working at KOMO in Seattle, Washington. Is that right? Yeah, weekend anchor over in Seattle right now. Good to see you. That's why you pay the bills. This is your passion. I want to yeah. show you guys something quickly. The film airs Wednesday, August 3rd, and the 5th and 7th on KVIE show called Viewfinder. Here's a preview of it. Tommy Kono snatches 117 and a half kilos in the welterweight class, over 20 pounds more than his closest rival. Many, many people would agree that Tommy Kono is the greatest weightlifter in the history of the sport. He's an Olympic champion, he's a world champion, he's a world record holder. He won two golds. Wow, so Tommy Kono. Yes. A, a legend as far as the Olympics are concerned, just passed away just recently passed away this April. year. Yeah. Why? Why did you take on this story? You know, here's a guy who comes from Sacramento. He is one of the greatest athletes that come out of Sacramento, greatest American weightlifter in the history of the sport, and no one knows anything about him. Right. I mean, you have a lot of great athletes that come out of Sacramento. Yes. Mark Spitz, uh, Cartwright, Kevin Johnson, Debbie Meyer. But here's a guy, two Olympic gold medals, one Olympic silver, six world titles, wow. 25 world records, and on top of that, three Mr. Universe titles in bodybuilding becomes an inspiration to Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh. And he's an athlete that should be celebrated here in the capital city. Absolutely, and you think about how he started. Mm -hmm. He was a pretty frail, small yeah. little guy who had asthma, like I have asthma, yeah. and just had all these problems, but overcame all of that. He had asthma, and he goes into the Japanese internment camps oh. in World War II, learns the art of weightlifting in the camps, comes out, and just starts dominating the sport over a nine-year stretch from 1952 to 1960. Just an amazing athlete. How much, how difficult was it for you to get in touch with him and his family Ooh. and get these interviews? You know, I met him back in 2006, 2007 at a little weightlifting competition, the Tommy Kono Classic at Sacramento High School. Okay. I met him there, and this this project was just eating at me for the longest time. Like, why did why don't people know who this guy is? Right. So I kind of kept in touch with him, and about three years ago, we decided, let's do the documentary. So we started working on it three years ago, and, and just over time, over time, we start like gathering little piece, pieces, right. archive video. We did the last interview with him back in October in his house in Hawaii. This is him in, in wow. Hawaii right now. Wow. And just an amazing guy, so humble, but so great, and you know, Look at this guy. He's I mean, a great. Look at his amazing I mean, he's a stud. Right? The dude's a stud. Like, <laughs> like, like, why aren't people talking about this guy? I mean, he's an Adonis. Absolutely. And that, know, that's his resume right there. And when you, you know? put together something that's obviously a passion, mm -hmm. a project for yeah. you, um, but he didn't get a chance to see the finished product. That was. But he knew you were doing this. He knew he was yeah. going to be appreciated. You know, he he knew we were doing it, and and the the, the goal was to get this done so he could see it yeah. because his, his health was declining back in January. But the good thing is we're doing a screening tonight at KVI. It's sold out so you can't come okay <laughs> but that's like you can come Ken. Oh, okay but his family is flying all the way from Hawaii just to see it oh, so man. his wife's gonna be here his daughter and son are gonna be here and it's gonna be the first time they they're gonna get a chance to see this and so uh, I'm a little nervous yeah, I'm a little anxious exactly. and nervous for them to, to come and watch it but I'm also so excited to, that they can actually see his father being memorialized yeah. this is a gift to him gift to the family it's a gift to Sacramento it's going to be beautiful, Ryan. I really believe that I they're, going to, they're, yeah. going to, they're going to love it. And yeah. the passion that you put into this is really going to show on screen. And as I mentioned before, mm -hmm. it's going to air for the public to see it. It's coming up on uh, Wednesday, August the 3rd. That's the first time it's going to be shown on KVIE show called uh, Viewfinder. Then again, the 5th and the 7th. Ryan, good to see you. I only Thank see you, you at King's Practices, but now yeah, I know. good to see you doing this, man. Thank Congratulations you very much. And good and luck th with thanks you. for having us. Of course. More than welcome. More good day right after this.